CFA exam and its scope today, job opportunities, which level is tough, the finance industry, and so much more. Today on our channel, we have a very special guest, someone that you all have been waiting for. And if you are a CFA aspirant, then you definitely do not want to miss this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. Today's video is very important. It is a very high on demand video because I have with me a very, very special guest. Someone who's my mentor and I look forward to. Someone who's been in the finance industry since a very long time. An ex-associate, research associate at Morgan Stanley and currently one of India's top leading CFA coaches. We have with us none other than Manish Ramuka, CFA. Hello, sir. Hi, Tanishka. Thank you for such a good introduction. Really, really happy to listen to that. I don't know that I, I, I had no clue that I'm a top uh, CFA coaching institute. <laughs> so you are. So many uh, of your mentees look up to you after so many years. So I definitely feel that you are one of the top okay, CFA thanks, coaches. Thanks, thanks a lot for that. We're going to cover all aspects, guys, in this video. As I mentioned in the introduction, the decade long finance experience. I know all of you have been constantly asking what is the scope that we have in the finance industry today? What is the scope of CFA in today's world? So many people are doing it. And definitely, who better than you to answer? So starting with the finance industry, you've been here for more than a decade, actually, if I put it out. How would you sum up the industry as of the past, as when you started and as of today? See, uh, the first thing that I'll say about the finance industry is, so I had worked with Morgan Stanley for four years. So that is my short stint at Correct. finance industry. I would not say I worked for a decade or two decades or something like that in the industry. So I worked for four years in the industry as an equity research analyst. Mm -hmm. So that was a very, very good experience. And the industry structure has changed a bit since I'm not in touch with the industry right now. But when I keep talking to professionals in the industry, the structure has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but more or less, the work profile is very much similar. So I was working with equity research. Equity research, mein pehle jo research hota tha, we used to get the data from the company. We used to plug in the numbers, modeling. Now what's happening is artificial intelligence aane ke se, AI. Aane ke se. What's happening is those numbers are getting directly pulled onto mm -hmm. the Excel sheet. We used to write report, many people, they used to write the report in their own language, but with now chat GPT, many people, they are using chat GPT for making that report Absolutely. more precise and more worry mm -hmm. and better content, basically. Okay. But the main crux is still the same. Investment banking industry is still the same. No changes in that. The basic business model is the same. Writing reports, say, achha, ek aur cheez ho gaya. many people, they prefer videos nowadays, rather mm -hmm. as we are doing it right now. Yes. So rather than reading a report, what people prefer is having okay. a video content. So video content is in strong demand. Many mm -hmm. people do videos rather than doing the research reports. Research. So just taking one point from what you said, you said that now people are, you know, switching to uh, using chat GPT rather than their own words, if mm -hmm. I put it out. So do you think that because of the entry of AI, especially in the last one, two years, I would say, uh, jobs in the finance industry are crumbling down or do you think that the scope is still as high? That can never happen mm -hmm. because to work or to get the work done you need human beings technology always keeps on coming it will always keep on coming in future as well but it cannot replace human beings because finance industry is all about making two people meet borrowers and lenders meet absolutely computer nahi mila paayega but human element hamesha rahega and that can never go mm -hmm. similar situation happens every decade every decade it happens but every time when we see the average salary has gone up, right. the number of people employed in the industry has gone up, it has never gone down. Okay. So number of people working still has gone up only, it will never go down and finance industry, may, India may specifically, there is a huge potential yeah. because of the rural market and uh, every other market because markets are not fully tapped out right now. Right. So just adding another question to this, why do you said this, you have been in Morgan Stanley and obviously you did CFA. We'll tap on a topic, guys, for people who do not know, sir, has actually studied engineering and you switched to finance. But before I get to that, when you do a course like CFA, people do, you know, expect you to stay in an investment bank or as a portfolio manager and you got the chance to work at Morgan Stanley, right? So why did you decide to switch to become a teacher? Why did you, if I put it out, why do you do what you do today? So to answer this question, what I will do is I'll go one step, beh one step behind. And uh, so what I did is I did my engineering from Mumbai University DJ Sangvi College of Engineering and I graduated in the year of 2006. Mm -hmm. I started working with Infosys for two years, Pune. I was working in Infosys two years for uh, Infosys in Pune. Then after that, I went for my MBA course in US, Syracuse University, New York. Mm -hmm. So I was there in US for a couple of years. I did my master's MBA 
and at that time only i did my cfa as well mm-hmm. so that's the time when i started entering into finance industry after doing my mba and after doing my cfa as well i came back to india i started working with morgan stanley okay as equity research and i got an opportunity to go to london also so i was there i had a short stint at london as well for couple of months and uh, half a year i would say okay so i did see how finance industry is working in india and in london as well mm-hmm. now coming back to your question why did i switch my career, career path so it, definitely i was at a very good spot there yeah. is no denial to that finance industry being a cfa mm-hmm. being a charter holder and being in investment banking and that twin morgan stanley top tier bank so I, many people asked me the same question at that time why are you leaving this dream job right. it was a question at that time as well and today also mm-hmm. so the primary reason for that was when i was in us when i was studying in syracuse university i was teaching at that time as well coming back to india in 2010 and never left my teaching job saturday sunday when i was working with morgan stanley mm-hmm. i was still teaching with one of my competitors today that is edu pristine so i was teaching with them so on saturdays and sundays i always used to be very passionate about teaching okay. but when i was working in morgan stanley i never got that ki mujhe yahan pe ja ke kaam karna hai mujhe i was not very passionate about so subah uth ke main jab jata tha mujhe utna kick jitna teaching mein aata tha utna mujhe finance mein nahi aata tha and uh, that was the primary reason so i figured out paisa bahut hai finance industry mein no doubt about that there is that's the highest paying job and today also i feel had i been in the finance industry i would have been earning more but I would have wouldn't have been able to succeed in that as much as I am here. Reason being because I was not passionate about it, and right. I never used to. I I used to like it, but not as much as I like teaching. Teaching. So when I am teaching, I don't see my watch. The time is how much? I just keep on flowing. I just keep on teaching. But when I was working with a finance and finance company, Morgan Stanley, at that time, what used to happen is the time dikta tha. Me kitne baje nikal raho. So that is something which should not happen to anyone. That is something which should not happen to anyone, and I took that leap, and that's why that's the reason I'm here today. So, yeah. sir, thank you for answering that. Moving on to, you said you did your uh, CFA while you were doing your MBA, but why did you choose CFA? Because as of today, it is a popular course. As of 2009, 10, or for that matter, even 11, 12, it was not overly po- popular as say maybe a CA. So, how come CFA came into your mind? So, the point was very simple. I was not a finance person, mm-hmm. and I, as I was doing my MBA. so i realized kali mba se mera finance knowledge enhance nahi hoga the reason to do mba was to shift from it background to finance industry mm-hmm. so for that i decided to do an mba course mba in finance gave me good wings definitely but uh, cfa yeah. was required because cfa gives you more technical knowledge mba is more about presenting yourself polishing yourself it gives you an aspect of finance but cfa is more of technical course that's the reason i did cfa at that time my one of my college faculty mm-hmm. uh, joe compri he told me you should do this course it's a very very good course for learning cfa forget about job perspective but cfa is a very very important course and it's, it will give you the right thing that you need because you're from engineering background so that was the primary reason of doing cfa so basically to learn more technicalities of finance. exactly exactly uh I know you said keeping aside the job uh, factor, but it is something that people ask. But do you think that doing the CFA course along with the MBA, or even if without the MBA for that matter, gave you an edge in getting a job faster than maybe others or getting a better job maybe? So I would say. say when I graduated, it was 2008 when I started my MBA, mm-hmm. the global financial crisis. Right. With the moment I came out, it was 2010. So there were jobs available in the market. I wouldn't say I got a interview call from Morgan Stanley because I was a CFA. Mm-hmm. The reason is might be I did my MBA, all things f- fell in place. But the reason I was able to crack that and clear that interview was mm-hmm. because of CFA. So all the technical questions that they asked me, I was able to answer that to those questions and very precisely and very accurately. Because CFA. Because I had a CFA knowledge. So CFA will be more of g- giving you skill set. and abilities and tools to clear an interview i wouldn't put it this way ki cfa karne se aapko interview calls aayenge interview calls are something macroeconomic event right it's a macroeconomic thing industry mein job hoga aapko call aayega right theek hai theek hai abhi cfa sab log kar rahe hain 100 cfa hai sabko to call nahi aayega but aur bhi bahut sare factors hai jo match karne chahiye you should be in that suppose if you are from dehradun if you are from gurgaon and if you are looking for a finance job in mm-hmm. bombay even if you are cfa companies might think 
रिलोकेशन कॉस्ट होगा सो इट्स नॉट बिकॉज यू आर नॉट केपेबल और यूर डन सी एफ स्टिल यूर नॉट गेटिंग जॉब देर आर मेनी फैक्टर्स विच गो इन टू पिक्चर टू गेट एन इंटरव्यू कॉल एज वेल बट वन थिंग इज फॉर श्योर दैट इफ यू डू सी एफ ए यू विल डेफिनेटली बी एबल टू क्रैक योर इंटरव्यू once you go this even along with the soft skills for sure exactly, right? that is also exactly. a factor that would obviously be... all factors matters right jo bhi recruiter hai wo uske liye khali cfa important nahi hai overall personality matters okay. uh, so you also mentioned that you know uh, location was also one point that you said and i'm just taking it out because a lot of our viewers are not from metro cities as well so do you think for them you know because uh, relocation till the company is not paying for it is not easy for everybody to afford so do you think for people like people who are not coming from top tier cities is it beneficial to do cfa absolutely because knowledge is something which matters right koi bhi city mein ro aap mm hmm it's not necessary ki aapko job khali bombay mein milega finance industry is opening up everywhere india market is very big aisa yeah. nahi ki khali india market mein finance industry is bombay mein khulega and cfa course equips you with skill sets which are needed for every other industry it is not just about right. finance industry aapko corporate finance mein karna hai you can work in any corporate as well ओके सो ऐसा नहीं है कि सी करने से खाली आपको टॉप टीयर सिटीज में ही जॉब मिलेगा सी एफ ए विल इक्विप यू विद स्किल सेट्स फॉर वर्किंग इन फाइनेंस इंडस्ट्री एंड एनी अदर इंडस्ट्री वेयर अ फाइनेंस पर्सन इज नीडेड सो बी टॉप टीयर सिटी बी इट टीयर टू सिटीज यू शुड बी दिस कोर्स इज डेफिनेटली गुड एंड विल गिव यू लॉट ऑफ स्किल सेट ओके सो सो वन मोर थिंग आई नो वी आर नॉट वॉन्टिंग टू गेट इन टू फिगर्स बट अगेन इन टू डे इफ आई काउंट अ सिटी लाइक अ मुंबई level 1 level 2 level 3 how much can one expect because a lot of people are doing the course with the expectation which is possibly wrong i'm assuming but it is what it is and you know people have financial needs as well so they are doing the course with the need that we need a job and with the assumption that cfa will you know possibly help us land a higher paying job or a high paying job because finance industry in general is a high paying industry absolutely so if i count level 1 level 2 level 3 in a city like bombay with no experience mm -hmm. and with experience okay, taking both these categories how much can a person expect roughly so i would answer this question from a fresher's perspective mm -hmm. reason being because cfa level 1 and level 2 level 3 now you can appear even if you are in Absolutely. first year you're done with your first year yes. it is 24 months before your graduation Agreed. is completed yes. okay so in that sense most of the candidates that i'm getting in my class right now they are not working professionals but they are most of them are Student. students right now so let me answer this question from a fresher's perspective uh, because that would be a standard benchmark experience kiska bhi kitna bhi experience ho sakta hai so mm -hmm. that answer would be a bit difficult but from a fresher's perspective i would not give a very high number okay. so if you are even if you are cfa level 1 just cfa level 1 you should expect somewhere around 5 to 7 after level 2 i would say 6 to 8 and okay. after level 3 i would say 8 to 10 as a fresher as a fresher nothing in your hand or maximum i would say 9 not beyond that iska matlab ye nahi hai ki aapko 15 lakh ka job nahi mil sakta and this i'm talking as of today that is year 2024 right 5 saal ke baad ye numbers change ho jayenge 3 hmm. saal pehle numbers alag the hmm. but as of today this much as this is something what people are getting and they are expected that expected to earn that much this numbers can be lower also for some candidates if they don't have soft skills they are not very good at presenting themselves Absolutely. and this number can be very high as well if you are very good from from your presentation perspective you carry yourself in a proper way right. you are very well you are very basically you are very well presentable and you portray your answers you give your answers in a better way in an interview you are confident all these things also matter khali wo fresher ka tag matter nahi karta and cfa matter nahi karta hai but in a range to answer this question in a nutshell mm -hmm. 6 to 10 lakh is something i would i, I would expect for level 3 level 2 level 1 okay okay so again one more point from your own answer since you said that you know a lot of people coming to your current students and obviously we all know that the eligibility criteria from 2024 has changed um people as fresher specifically college students they're very confused you know half of them are unaware of you know what do you want to do kabhi dekha dekhi mein they're taking up kabhi sun liya kabhi like you know the assumption is that oh we'll make a lot of money and because of that i have personally seen also on my channel and otherwise that you know people are switching careers or adding a lot of multiple degrees so for example fia ke sath cfa ca ke sath fia or you know shifting careers from say marketing to finance my finance to marketing or engineer to uh, uh, finance or even for that matter there are people who shifted from medicine to you know finance of late or finance to medicine vice versa keeping the first part of this question in mind the ca fia cfa mm -hmm. what do you think are the differences roughly and do you think it is beneficial to do two or three of these courses together Or do you think that you know all three are distinctly separate and it won't matter 
unless you want to get into a certain space so for example i feel as a personal individual and if you are confident that you want to get into investment banking only so cfa alone should be fine so, along with your graduation so, degree it's not needed to add other things but i want to know your perspective so the best answer to this question is the more the merrier but i would say kitna time padhna hai ek individual ke upar depend karta hai mm-hmm. wo kitna time pad payega theek hai so i am not a person who would like to collect as many degrees as possible because then it at the end it ma- passes on a message that this person is a bit confused as well okay so now coming back to this question if you are a fresher and if you are confused ki kya karna hai aage cfa karna chahiye ca karna chahiye frm karna chahiye mm-hmm. let me put it in simple words if you are a person who wants to do work in finance industry when i say finance industry investment banking portfolio management mergers and acquisition ipos these things right. jo ek investment bank ke kaam karta hai theek mm-hmm. hai mutual funds these things are financial services industries mm-hmm. यहाँ पर काम करना है सी एफ ए इज अ मस्ट यू शुड डू इट अदरवाइज इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू ग्रो एट अ फास्टर पेस यू शुड डू इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन दिस इंडस्ट्री ओके वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ये सी ए सी एफ ए प्लस एम बी ए आइडियल कॉम्बिनेशन है बिकॉज देर आर मेनी इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक जिसमें रिक्रूटमेंट क्राइटेरिया है दैट यू हैव टू डू एन एम बी ए फ्रॉम अ टॉप टीयर कॉलेज और टीयर टू कॉलेज दर इज अ क्राइटेरिया सी एफ ए विल गिव यू टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स FRM if you are a person who wants to do go into risk management now risk management is a very very important right. tool and very very important subject for every company because one trade here and there you are gone mm-hmm. so if you want to go into specifics of risk management i would recommend do only FRM mm-hmm. derivatives mein jana hai derivatives ke through aapko apna portfolio manage karna hai risk management karna hai risk consulting karna hai go into FRM but if you are a person who likes to do accounting auditing taxation you know you should go see it. so if you are confused this question this answer should help you a lot multiple courses at the same time they are spending 3 years of their 3 years of their career in doing this course usme aap maze kar sakte ho yaar khali padhna important nahi hai spending your life with your family members True. good quality life is also important khali book padh ke important nahi hai so that's not something which i believe in do a course which where you want to work फाइनेंस इंडस्ट्री में काम करना यू हैव टू डू सी एफ ए नो अदर कोर्स इज नीडेड एम बी ए वुड भी नीडेड बिकॉज इट्स अ रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री कि यहाँ पर आपको ये एम बी ए होना ही होगा देन ओनली यू कैन वर्क इन दिस देन ओनली यूर एप्लीकेबल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोफाइल so uh, so i hope i answered that question absolutely i think this is in fact one of the most asked questions on my live and on the comment section and i think there couldn't have been a better answer so one last from this section of the topic is do you think that cfa gives you an upper edge to leave india because there are a lot of people who want to get out of india 